Thank you very much, Your Honor. We now have another rebuttal witness. The defense calls Mary Pilat to the stand. Well, we must protest this whole affair. The noble defense attorney rushes out to a secret conference, and now the last minute witness is being brought dramatically down the aisle. The whole thing has obviously been rigged to unduly excite the jury. It's just another one of Mr. Bigler's cornball tricks. Your Honor, I don't blame Mr. Dancer for feeling put upon. I'm just a humble country lawyer trying to do the best I can against this brilliant prosecutor from the big city of Lansing. Swear the witness. Raise your right hand, please. You do solemnly swear the testimony you shall give in this cause shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Sit down, please. Where do you live, Miss Pond? At the Thunder Bay Inn in Thunder Bay. And how long have you lived there? For two years. And what's your profession? I manage the inn. Now, Miss Pallant, how is the laundry handled at Thunder Bay Inn? It chuted down to the laundry room. And where's the location of that chute on the second floor? Between room 42 and 43. Who lives in those rooms? I live in 42. Mr. Quill lived in 43. Now, would Mr. Quill, coming up from the lobby, have to pass by the mouth of that chute on the way to his room? Yes. Would it be very easy for him to drop something into that chute as he passed by? Yes. Have you ever had occasion to go down into the laundry at any time? Yes. Part of my job is to sort various pieces of laundry as they come out of the wash and dry machine. Would you tell the court what you found among those pieces of laundry in the day after Mr. Quill was killed? I found a pair of women's panties. Now, what did you do with them? I threw them in the rag bin. Well, when did you learn the significance of those panties? Here. This morning in the courtroom. And then you went home and got them out of the rag bin? Yes. Did you bring them with you? Yes. I offer this article of lingerie as exhibit number one for the defense. They're white, they have lace up the side, and they're badly torn, as if they'd been ripped apart by powerful hands. The label reads, Smart Shop, Phoenix, Arizona. If there's no objection, the exhibit will be received in evidence. That's all, Mr. Plant. Did you ever talk to Mr. Lodwick, the prosecuting attorney, about the death of Barney Quill? Yes. He came to the hotel several times after Mr. Quill was killed. Did you tell Mr. Lodwick that you didn't believe Barney Quill had raped Mrs. Mannion? Yes, I told him that. Now, Miss Pallant, did you ever talk to Mr. Beagler, the defense attorney? Yes. Was this also in connection with the shooting of Quill? Yes. Did you tell him you didn't believe Barney Quill had raped Mrs. Mannion? Yes. How many times did you talk to Mr. Beagler? Twice. When was the last time? Last night. And have you now changed your mind? Do you now believe Barney Quill raped Mrs. Mannion? I don't know now. I think he might have. When did you change your mind? Last night? No. No, it was here this morning. Well, when were you given the panties? Was that last night? Now, wait a minute. Now, just wait Use a minute. Use the proper form of objection, Mr. Bigler. No, on second thought, I don't object, Your Honor. I'd like the jury to hear her answer. The witness may answer. No. I was not given the panties last night or at any other time. I found them exactly as I said. Do you know for a fact that Barney Quill dropped the panties down the chute, or did you just assume it? I assumed it. Had you thought that perhaps someone else might have put the panties there, someone who wanted them found in the laundry? I hadn't thought of that. Mm -hmm. And in the grip of what Mr. Beagler might call irresistible impulse, you rushed in here with the panties because you wanted to crucify the character of the dead Barney Quill. Isn't that true? Oh, no, I thought it was my duty. Your pride was hurt, wasn't it? I don't know what you mean. Your Honor, he's trying to confuse the witness. I'll let him ask her a question she can understand. Yes, Mr. Dancer, I myself would like to know what you're driving at. Miss Pallant, when you found the panties, was your first thought that Barney Quill might have raped Mrs. Mannion, or was it that he might have been stepping out with Mrs. Mannion? What does he mean? I don't know what he means. Mr. Dancer, once again, I must ask you to put straight questions to the witness. Here is a straight question, Your Honor. Miss Pallant, were you Barney Quill's mistress? No. No, I was not. You know, it's common knowledge in Thunder Bay you were living with Quill. That's not true. Barney Quill was... Was what, Miss Pallant? Barney Quill was what, Miss Pallant? Barney Quill was my father. No more questions. 